Welcome back 713 right now as we've been telling you the causeway bridge is closed because uh, to traffic because of ice on the roadway. Yeah, but right now de-icing operations have begun mm -hmm. for the latest timeline on when it will reopen. We're joined now by Mr. Carlton Dufer show general general manager of the causeway mm -hmm. system. Sir, good morning to you. Good morning to you guys. Thanks for getting the message out to everyone in the region. But the, well, yes, we did start the de-icing operations on the bridge, but it's going to be a while. We've got the, the northern third of the bridge is covered with ice. Uh, the rain and then the sleet from about uh, mm -hmm. two to four really did a number on us. It, uh, uh, the good news is that uh, dawn's breaking and, uh, and temperatures will come up, but we hope to have the bridge open by late morning. It'll probably be one lane operation southbound. That's going to be the initial goal for us. But as the sun comes up, we uh, actually a bit surprised and we've got icicles hanging off of some of the railing uh, by the drawbridge. And it's uh, it's a bit surreal looking out there. That actually the lake temperatures are warmer than the air temperatures, so we have steam coming off Lake Pontchartrain and causing a little bit of a fog on the bridge too. Yeah, talk about Lake Erie. That's sure true, sir. We're seeing a picture right now that you posted earlier showing uh, the causeway from uh, one of the officers' vehicles there. You can see how slick road conditions were, at least before the de-icing process began. I know you said that y'all are going to have to wait a little while before it reopens, and when it does, it'll be down to one lane, but what are you thinking as far as the timeline is concerned? It's, it's still, we're still several hours out. The Got it. challenge we have is that uh, it's, we have at least eight to nine miles of, uh, of roadway to de-ice. And, uh, and likely once we are able to do that, have it, uh, have it a pretty good friction coefficient out there, we'll go be down to one lane and uh, have folks going at a slower speed until they get to the southern half of the bridge. But the message for everybody right now is unless, uh, actually message for everybody right now is to stay put <laughs> until it warms up some and we get uh, not only the causeway but the other regional connectors opened up again. I'm wondering if we saw any wrecks or accidents on the bridge before the closure? Not on the causeway. No, our officers were actually the first to notice the ice. They were patrolling all night long. Mm -hmm. And once it started to develop in a, a pretty large area, that's when they, they called the, the, the Coloza Bridge. Actually, I think it was about 2.30, 2.32 this morning that we shut down. But uh, the, the good news is the wet stuff is beyond us. Uh, we will come out of this, but it's going to be a couple hours before we're able to open the bridge. And I would think that pretty much the region, too. Certainly, sir. And what's also important to underscore here is that on the causeway, you all are trained to handle situations where you're just vigilant of conditions in the event that you have to shut down the roadway. But ice isn't something that you're normally concerned about. No, it's ice is an anomaly for us. We are prepared for it, but uh, like everyone else in southeast Louisiana it uh, we can handle hurricanes and all that kind of good stuff <laughs> but ice will do a number on us but again the, the causeway will reopen uh, I'm very fortunate to be surrounded by a terrific staff there out there uh, actually in very cold conditions and doing their best to get the bridge reopened as soon as we can well thank you to you sir thank you to them out there working to keep us all safe Mr. Carlton Dufresho we will check in with you throughout the morning 